Blue Standards, uh, Volume 1, is my album, which is 11 songs from the book, New Standards, 101 Compositions by Women Composers. And it came about because uh, a lot of people would say, can you play songs by women composers? And we'd be hard pressed to find some. There's always Willow Week for me that a lot of people flock to. Um, but there's a lot of young composers and uh, more obscure composers uh, that have written music. So I decided to uh, seek people out, new composers, uh, mid-career composers, and also people that uh, have, have passed away. So this book has a variety of composers, a, vi a variety of styles as well. Uh, people from Europe, from Japan, uh, people from all over. So uh, it was a, a task mm -hmm. getting these songs from 101 people. <laughs> um, well, for, from the book, I want people to consider these songs as alternatives to the standards that they play regularly. Uh, and the way that you make a song a standard is by a lot of people uh, playing it and a lot of people agreeing that these songs should be recorded and, and played by more than the person that wrote it. So that's what I'm hoping for the book. And from the record, it's the same thing. I want to uh, add to the exposure of the songs and of the composers. So we have people like Carla Blay, Eliana Elias, um, uh, do I have any of my songs in here? I don't think so. <laughs> Gretchen Parlato, uh, uh, Brandy Younger. I'm trying to think of all the composers on the album. I like it all. I like, uh, of course I like performing. It's you know, a, a chance to just be creative and expressive in the moment. But I like composing because it's something that will last forever and uh, it's, it's a statement, a real statement. And of course, uh, producing is, is something, it's almost like directing. It's like you're the director of a, of a film, you're the director of an album, mm -hmm. and you get to put all the pieces together to make a final product um, that, it, it, in the end, it feels like your product as much as it is the artist's product, because you put so much into shaping their vision and mixing it with your vision. So I, I love doing that. A piece of music? I can't say there was a particular piece. I, I listened to everything, all styles. I remember when I was a kid and I had a little portable kids record player. Um, I used to play over and over the fifth dimension, uh, Age of Aquarius. And uh, I think for some reason, you know, that song uh, probably helped move me into other areas of, of music. Because I was listening to jazz and playing jazz as a kid. Uh, but I started listening to pop music and R&B and soul music and the blues. Uh, and I remember when I heard Band of Gypsies, Jimi Hendrix, you know, and I realized how much I like rock and roll too. So I, f I feel like I've always tried to have no boundaries stylistically. So I could never pick one, one piece of music. Um, there's just been so much that has influenced me over the years. Actionable advice. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think that these days there's a lot of things that were important to us 20, 30 years ago. Uh, and I teach at Berkeley, so um, I see that things have changed you know, a lot with, with our students. Uh, and it is a continuum, so it has to change and it has to evolve. But, uh, you know, there, there are certain standards of. of uh, just with mentorship and um, apprenticeships and uh, that that I'd like to see happening more and more which is why I started the next jazz legacy apprenticeship program um, and I feel like uh, people are so into social media that you have young people that can be a social media star but they can't play a whole 90 minute concert so I think people have to figure out how to uh, how to you know have a sustainable career and of course you have to do all of the things that people are doing today but you have to also look at the history of especially those the people that you um look up to you know you have to look at their history you have to look at the people they looked up to their history too so it's a really a continuum and you can't um it's not just about what happened you know today this year or last year or even the last 10 years 
So I think that's a, a lot for a young musician. They have to, a whole lot to, to discover, to learn, and uh, to, to just uh, kind of uh, put into their life and into their music.